Radovojirovich Belgrade. October 15, 1950. October 28, 2008. Academy of Fine Arts in Belgrade. Department of Painting, completed in 1974. And postgraduate studies in 1978. In the class of Professor Stoyan Chelich. He devoted his whole life to art. Living and working as an independent artist in Belgrade, New York. Late 80s, London. From 2001 to 2005. He did not exhibit much and often independently. From 1976, when he opened his first solo exhibition, Paintings and Drawings, in the gallery of the Kolrak National University, until 2005, when he had his last solo exhibition, Paintings, in the Ulus Gallery, he had five more. 1979 in the Gallery Graphic Key Collective, Drawings, 1981 in Nixix. Paintings and Drawings, 1986 in the KNU Gallery. Pictures, 1993 in the Graphic Collective Gallery. Collages, 1999 in the Ulus Gallery. Pictures, together with Zoran Grubanrovic and Mladen Mishanovic. Since 1973, he has participated in a large number of collective exhibitions. In Yugoslavia and Serbia, in France, the Netherlands and Great Britain and he has also received several important awards. He received the award of the October Salon for painting in 1989. And in 1986 the award of the Cis of Culture of Belgrade for the Best. Independent Exhibition of Paintings at Kolrkvo National University. He painted, drew, made collages. And he was no stranger to design, art equipment for magazines and books. He used oil, acrylic, mixed technique, colored pencils, at the end of the 1970s. He worked on the creation of mosaics in the Serbian National Theatre in Novi Sad and in the television building in Kashutnjak. He was a member of Volus since 1975. Juravich didn't just paint, he also thought about his own work. In recently discovered notes, we find. My paintings are the result of a close and systematic observation of the things that surround me. Thus, I separate the selected motif from the whole to which it belongs. 
and transferred to the canvas, it provides a surprise. Because we are used to seeing it in a certain combination with other elements or events that accompany it and with which it represents the whole by which we recognize and remember it. Objects selected from units acquire new qualities, new characteristics. In these relations, these images can be spoken of as a view of the world, to the world that surrounds us and that we pass by every day. But we don't notice it, in the catalog for the exhibition. Radvo Dyrovich into the modern world. Boyana Barich writes, Radvo Dyrovich belongs to the generation of artists who studied at the Academy of Fine Arts in Belgrade. Since 1973, the faculty, in a creative atmosphere that gave birth to numerous creators, and who made their city a true artistic metropolis in the 1980s, Although the school itself seemed to be dominated by two distinct poetics, such as poetic or symbolic realism and On the other hand, abstraction, which simplistically divided students into rationalists and intuitives. The creative potential was found in those who carefully nurtured and preserved their individuality. Among them is certainly Radvo Yurovich who used his education in the prestigious class of Professor Stui and Chilich in the best possible way to train himself methodologically. to build and nurture his own sensitivity and to form his visual opinion, in his creative personality, intelligence and intuitiveness. Asceticism and terseness of expression were combined with creative hedonism, which would suddenly flare up and flare up in colorful fireworks. During his growth as a personally very striking artist, a discreet but constant presence on the art scene of that time, Radvo Yurovich was able to understand the professor's lessons, to apply them, but also to sovereignly approach the articulation of his language idiom. Very serious and dedicated to his painting work and the elaboration of plastic problems, which he recognized as the constituents of his painting world. He did not allow himself to be carried away by the first successful results but worked persistently to achieve harmony between minimalist means of expression and maximum visual experience and performance. He created his drawings and early paintings by choosing a reduced syntax. Only line and delicate hatching, or monochrome surfaces. A radical choice of juxtaposed sharp geometric forms and rounding, soft contours that define the relief. His narratives are from the most immediate environment. A view through the window of a room or a studio at the academy. Objects of profane existence in whose relations he does not search for symbolic meanings. But for artistic, plastic values and their transfer into compositional rhythms, 